Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing good today. So in today's video, I am going to show you a tutorial on this makeup look that I did using the new Anastasia Prism Palette. And I wanted this one to be a little bit different than like my usual ones just because I'm practicing more. I'm trying to do different looks and this time I used five eyeshadow colors from this uh, palette. So if you're interested in knowing how I created this glamorous makeup look and also the face makeup, then let's get started with this tutorial. Okay, so I am going to start off with the eyes. I am using the color Lure and I'm applying that on the outer corner of the eyes. That is where I'm gonna start off with this color, but I am gonna be blending it towards the inner part. I'm just gonna slowly blend it in and I'm also gonna slowly build up the color. It is really, really nice and it is very, very buildable. So I love the tone that it gives, whether it's the soft look or the darker look. And there I'm just blending out the edges with a clean fluffy brush. Next, I am gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape to cut the crease. I'm actually getting a little faster and a little bit better at doing this. It used to take me a lot longer with these cut creases. Um, so yeah, that is just the way that I clean it up. I first, you know, start off with it kind of sloppy-ish and then I knead it up a little bit afterwards. Next, on top of the concealer, I am going to pack on the color Dimension. This is a very light purple uh, glittery tone. It's one of the duo chromes in here and you can really build this color up too. It does show up really intense after you go over it a little bit like spreading out the color and I love how nice and shimmery it looks but it's not like a gritty glitter. It's like a it's like foil almost. I explained this in my ABH Prism Palette Review. Um, on the outer corner though, I am going to use the black color. This one's called Obsidian and it is a very dark black. But look at the way that it's going to blend in to the purple shade, to the glitter shade. It makes it even look like a, like a blue, like a purple blue, like a dark purple where I'm blending it in, you'll it'll be more noticeable towards the end of the look once I'm done blending out. But just right there where I'm blending the two shades together, the glitter color kind of transforms into like a different tone of purple. It's really nice actually, it looks really cool. Um, then I'm just blending out the edges with the fluffy brush again. At first I was like, should I go in with this black? because it's really, I don't know, kind of scary for me. But it ended up looking very glamorous and just really nice. And you can see right there all the fallout that it has. Like, it is a lot of fallout, you know. Um, but it does come off easily, you know, that's the bottom. That's why I wanted to do my eyes first and then do my makeup last because, you know, fallout can really ruin your foundation. So I did apply a little bit more of the concealer on the under eye area just to use that as my eyeshadow primer. And on my lower lash line, I am using the color Eden and I am just going to blend that out. I'm also going to apply a little bit of the black eyeshadow underneath to blend it towards the outside. But before that, I am going to use the Tarte Shape, not the Shape Tape, the Tarte Double Take Eyeliner and I am going to use that on my waterline to really darken up the waterline. And now I'm using the black eyeshadow again, just to really blend out that eyeliner that I just put and also just to blend it outwards. I'm also adding just a little bit more of the coral tone so that way it can clean up the, the edge a little bit more. I'm using the color Lucid. It is a white chrome um, eyeshadow on the inner corner. It really brightens that up. And I'm using the Tarte eyeliner that I used earlier but I'm using the other side for the liquid eyeliner part and I am doing a big thick wing. This is a very glamorous look so I wanted a very big thick wing and I've actually been doing my eyeliner like this a lot lately and I'm loving it. Another thing that I'm gonna do with this look is really point out the inner part of my eyes and make it very pointy and it elongates the eyes, looks really nice. Next, I'm using the Benefit Boing. I've been testing this product out because if you have been around for a little while on my channel, you know I love the Tarte, not the Tarte, the Benefit Erase Paste, and they repackaged it 
and I'm testing it out just to make sure that it is the same. Um, I think I'm going to do a video on both of them though just to test them out together in the same video and to show you but that's what I'm using to correct my under eye area and I'm blending it out with the Beauty Blender. For foundation, I'm using the Peach Perfect by Too Faced. It is my favorite foundation at the moment and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my face. Sometimes I do the correcting concealer and the brightening concealer after the foundation but for this time I put the color correcting concealer first because I had a mess on my under eyes. I just really wanted to clean that up already but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the foundation everywhere and I'm also going to clean up the eyebrows with the foundation. I just like to use a smaller brush to get a little closer. Next, I'm going to use the same concealer that I was using earlier to brighten up my highlighting areas, which is my uh, under eyes, the forehead, the nose, the cupid's bow, and the chin. And I'm also going to work very, very carefully to blend it out on my under eye area since I already did the lower lash line. Sometimes I do the lower lash line afterwards, but sometimes I like to clean it up and make it really nice and sharp like I did today. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Contour Kit to set my under eye area. This is a very fine, very nice powder for the under eye area. It does not make my under eyes crease. It is such a good powder. You have to try it out if you have been looking for one for the under eye area. And not only that, it's really, really smooth and soft. It just, I don't know, it blends out so nicely and it sets your makeup so good. I'm also using it to clean up the contouring areas, like to clean up the bottom with the Beauty Blender. And I'm using my MAC powder to set the rest of my face, the rest of the foundation. And as I'm setting my face, sometimes I start removing the highlighting powder that I had. And you can see right there that it's not super, super white, super bright. It's just like the right amount of lightness to set the highlighting areas. And also the powder that I'm using to set the foundation, it sets it like magic. <laughs> like I really like it to set my foundation. So I'm going to use the contour shade from the same kit to contour the to contour my contouring areas pretty much so I'm gonna lightly build up the color and apply that all over my my towards my hairline and I also go up since my hair is up right now I really want to make sure that it looks blended it doesn't look like a line right there and then I just slowly start blending it out a little bit more for blush I'm using this very light blush this one's called party and it's by Tarte and I'm just applying that. It's very light. It's not too pink and not too, not too brown, nothing like that. It's just like the perfect nude tone blush. And then I'm using the e.l.f. bronzer. This is in the color medium light or light medium. And I'm just bringing some bronze to my face. I'm also going to apply the lashes and use this mascara to work on my lower lashes. I'm also going to apply a little bit of the mascara on the top to blend in the falsies with my natural eyelashes. The highlight that I'm going to use is this one by Fenty Beauty. I'm using the Hustla Baby Side and it is a really, really nice highlighter. I'm going to apply that on the top of my cheeks, also on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow too. And for the lips, I'm using this one by Tarte. This one is called Birthday Soup. I actually got this one with the blush that I used earlier. But this is the complete look. I hope you guys liked it. It just looks so nice and glamorous. And I really did fall in love with this look. Hopefully you guys liked it too.
So hopefully you liked the way that I did this makeup look. I really, really liked it. It's really glamorous and I feel like I never use the color black. This black in here is like intense and it does have a lot of fallout. So I do have to do like a lot of cleaning underneath, but it is kind of worth it to me just because it's so nice and intense and it also blends out pretty easily. I mean, for being in a black color, that's a very hard color to work with, at least me, just because I'm barely like getting more into it um but i was happy that i used the black today and i don't know i just really like the way that it turned out let me know below if you would like to see another uh tutorial using this palette what colors would you like for me to mainly use from the palette let me know below and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe before you leave so that we don't miss out on future videos hopefully you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and i will see you all in my next video bye